you are not going to believe the features this chair has at the price. So in this video, we're not only going to be doing an unboxing and a build, but we're going to be doing a review of the GT player chair in gray, but it comes in a bunch of other colors as well. Is it the best? Probably not. The best in its class? I would say, yes, it is. Check out my review of the GT player chair. Let's go. Starting off quick with the outside of the box, typically the boxes are a little bit taller and if anything, just as wide or maybe a little bit wider. So a little bit odd here, but anyway, GT player, be cool, be free, an R over here. I'm not sure what the R is just yet. Then the chair made in China and the same along here. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So far, I'm liking the presentation, plain and simple, nice. Manual here, GT player, assembly instructions, but don't worry, we'll go over that in this video. Very nice so far looking. The manual feels nice as well. But again, we're going to go over this in this video, so stay tuned for that. All right, then here it has the neck rest pillow. I assume this is what it is. It's not a plushy, it's kind of a leathery kind of feel. Feels nice. It's not very thick. Then back here is the zipper without the little pull string over here. And then you can see the material in there. And either a wrist rest or to wrap around the headrest, but we'll see in a sec. Then here is going to be the backrest already. I feel this is incredibly thin. So I'm kind of scared on the quality of the chair, but we'll see that soon. And actually to add to that, not the quality of the chair, but the comfort of the chair. I'm afraid on how the cushion is going to feel. So you could see here, this is incredibly light. Usually these are heavier. This just doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of cushion. You could see there the design. And then it has that blue label over here. Then it has this over here. Now I'm assuming this is where you're going to strap the headrest into. The back of the chair over here. And then this is going to strap into the chair itself to keep it looking a little bit more as one piece. Some Velcro here. I assume this is where you're going to screw it in and then like the pillow, little zipper right over here so that if you wanted to add more foam or something, you could, you may need to. <laughs> the side over here where you're going to put that into the chair, same on this side. Okay, and this is the armrest, a little bit rounded. And then you're gonna open it up like that. I kind of like the way this feels. This is definitely cushy cushier than most of the armrests, if not all of the armrests that I've used. So this is a nice addition here. Kind of cool the way it retracts though. When you install it, this will always be in, but we'll see soon enough. Another one of the armrests. I don't know if this was a mistake, but they have another pillow in here. That's interesting. Maybe the other was a lumbar and this is the headrest. Got the little straps on here all right just as thick as the other one and another oh this okay so this has a foot rest so this is where you would put your foot and this is the bar so definitely this is going to be a nice feature then the bottom of it looks like it turns maybe to put it away and the seat Okay, we can see it has the same design as the backrest and little pieces here for the armrest and the bottom. Now, it feels very cushiony. It might actually be very comfortable. I don't know just yet. We'll see. All right, so these are going to be for the wheelbase, these are plastic. They're not metal or anything along those lines. 
And then here is where you would snap in the wheel. This would snap into the assembly. You can see that design there. Oh, and a fifth. Okay, this one was outside of that package, but there is a fifth. All right, so here are all the screws, nuts and bolts, even the anon wrench that you're going to be using to build this. It's always great when they include everything in here. And then here is the five star base. It is also plastic. Hmm. But I'm trying to save this one. And I am not sure what these are just yet, but we'll find out soon enough together. And here are the wheels. It includes five of them here. This is metal and it's actually pretty heavy. This looks like to be for the backrest, but we'll find out soon enough. And last but not least, the tilt mechanism, having both on one side. Okay, this will lock the chair, the back of the chair, and this one will allow you to lift and lower the chair. This is where you're going to slide the wheelbase, and this will be for the back here. Interesting that it's not sealed, this is opened up, which is actually not a bad thing because if and when you do need to grease these, you can easily do that. I have a chair, the main gear chair, that you just can't grease. So anyway, let's get building. So the first thing we're going to install is the base along with the ground or the legs. So first we're going to go ahead and just join them right here. You're gonna have to push them in a little bit just to make sure that you can see that screw hole. All right, and I'm going to repeat the process, so I'll do that off camera. And not to make sure these don't fall out, we're going to use T, the M6 by 20s. These guys right up here, along with the Allen wrench. So we just go ahead, grab that screw. And again, you might need to push it in a little tiny bit. In case the threading doesn't align. And then once it's in, some of these may not align perfectly well at the beginning. So they'll be a little more difficult to screw in, but you'll get it. And then now we'll install the wheels. For this, you just simply drop the wheel right into this hole and push it down. Actually, it goes in easier than most chairs. And I'll go ahead and do this five times. I'll do it off camera because it's the same process. And then for step number two, we'll flip it over and we'll simply drop in the gas lift right here. So we're done with the base for right now. Now, step number three is actually quite a few steps. So first we're going to start with the foot rest rails. And for these we'll utilize W, the M630s. Now make sure that front is right over here because we're going to be installing them on the front. And for that, we're going to be lining them up right over here. I'm gonna drop a screw right in here and then thread it a little bit right through here for a pilot. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. And once that's in there, we'll go ahead and screw it in. And now we're going to repeat that process right over here, still at the front. And now again, focusing on the front, we're gonna add the tilt mechanism and we're going to align it as a T with the top of the T 
facing the top. And for this, we're going to be using the Zero and the V washers. Now for these, since there are so many involved, first line them up, all the screw holes here, 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 and here. There'll be a total of four screw holes. And then we're going to want to attach the washer and just screw one in, maybe about 20% of the way. And then we'll do another one over here, about 20% of the way. And then inside of the assembly, those two screw holes over here, just line them up. Those will be a little bit harder with your fingertips. For that, you will have to use the Allen wrench. So we'll go ahead and tighten one of these 100%. Then diagonally from there, I'll go ahead and screw this one in. I'll tighten it all the way down. And then after that, we'll go ahead and do this one. And then we'll finish off with this one. And we're all done there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip to step number nine to install the footrest because we have the base already here. Then for the footrest, we'll go ahead and make sure the seat faces up as long as the base is facing up. And then we'll slide that, these two bars, into these holes we just installed. Then at the base of the left side here, it's the right, but we have it upside down. We'll install the M5 by eight, the S screw. And that's to keep this from sliding out. So we'll just install that right here. Now there's only one, there isn't one on the other side. So it's easy enough to know which one to install it onto. Again, skipping some steps, we're gonna go ahead and flip over the chair. So now with the seat facing up, this little piece back over here, we're going to go ahead and install the back of the seat. I'm skipping over some steps in the order that makes sense to me and hopefully it'll make sense to you. So here, we'll open this up and then we'll grab the connector. Now with the connector, the green arrow is going to go on the back of the seat and that's going to match up right over here. Now using the Z screws, the M6 by 30s and the V washers, we'll just go ahead Slide that in and we'll go ahead and screw the very first one in here with our fingertips as the pilot hole. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the other three, so one second. And now that that's installed, we're going to go ahead and straighten it up as much as possible. And then we'll screw in this side right over here, 100%. And then diagonally from here, we'll do this side then just above that and diagonally from here. And we can just cover everything again to hide that unsightly mess. So now on the bottom of the chair, you'll find this hole right here. We're gonna go ahead and align it right down here on the chair no easy way to do it other than to just drop it there, match it up here. And there you go. Now we have to attach the back of the chair here. Now to do that, to start, we'll just grab the back of the chair and we'll drop this. Right in there. Now when you first put down the seat, just make sure that these pieces are sticking out. It's gonna help cover it in the back. And now here along the back, we're going to go ahead and line up the screws. Because we're fighting gravity, there is no good way to easily do it. So just line them up as best you can. And that's using your fingertips. Once you have one, the others become a little bit easier to install. And then go ahead and screw it in 100%. Then again, go in diagonal. Come up here. And down here. Now 
and then just make this look as nice as possible. Now, in order to know which arm you're going to be using, because there's going to be two, of course, the side that has this deep hole is going to be facing outwards. So first, we're going to drop the washer right into here. Then we're going to line it up right in here. And then we're going to use the Q screw just by hand. Actually, it's kind of deep, so by hand to sit it in. And then we're gonna go ahead and just thread it so that it could hold itself. Not all the way, just thread it. So now I can kind of let go and it's gonna swivel back because that's all it can do right now. Now I'm going to repeat that process right up here. I'm gonna put a washer. Then I'm going to align this right in here so that it reaches the screw hole. And then I am going to screw in or place a screw right in there and just thread it. Now, since we have both screws in place, we can go ahead and screw it in 100%. So I'll start with this one. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And then when I'm done with that one, we'll go ahead and screw the bottom one in. Nice and tight. And then we'll grab the Y cap because nobody wants to see a screw and just clip it in there. And we'll do the same down here. And now we'll repeat that process on the other side. In order to put the first pillow, the one that had what looked like a little wrist strap, we're going to go ahead and slide this in right over here and then bring the other strap out through here. And then you'll notice there's a little hook right over here, a little opening, and we're just going to drop that right in the little fold there. And you've just attached the headrest. Now to attach the lower lumbar pillow, we're going to first off straighten all of these. They're all wiggly. And then we're just going to detach both sides. Then with the GT player facing up, we're just going to drop the pillow down here. Then we're going to slide this first one right in this hole. And the second one in the other hole here, it's okay that they're just hanging. So now at the bottom, you're gonna have this piece here. You're gonna slide it right in between the chair and the back. We'll do the same for this guy. Around the back, we'll see these little flaps. And then right down here, we'll find the clips we just pushed through. We'll do the same thing right over here. Pull that one through. Now, we could always just lift it up here and attach it to the top strap, but we want to make it look nice. And they made it a little easy for us. So if we pull this little flap down, you notice there's a little hole here. So what we'll do is we pull this little clip right through the hole and it's a tight, snug fit, but it fits. And then we'll pull it right through here. We'll go ahead and repeat that same process right on this side. All right, now that fits right through there. Then on the bottom, before we connect these straps, you'll notice there's kind of the fuzzy side of the Velcro over here and the more rigid side of the Velcro here. What that's for is so that you can grab these little coat tails, connect it over here to the Velcro, do the same on the other side. And that makes it look a lot nicer. Now let's take care of these straps. And now we'll grab the strap from the top and then join that with the strap from the bottom on both sides. Now that looks a lot nicer than having to go around these coat tails over here. And that goes ahead and locks your backrest in place. So this is the first time I officially sit on the seat. For not having that much cushion, it's actually relatively comfortable. Mind you, I just sat in it. I haven't gamed for hours and hours, so I don't know how comfortable it's going to be. The armrest, they are comfortable, but I can't adjust them. 
So if my arms aren't the right length, they're not going to sit right on it. It feels like they're a decent length or height, I should say, but again, they're not adjustable. So you can see that right over here and they kind of curve down, which is not a bad thing. It's a little bit awkward, but it's not a bad thing at all, especially for the price. I need you to understand this is an incredibly affordable chair. Now, it could be just luck exactly where I put it. It feels perfect. It is adjustable. This goes up to, or people as tall as five foot 13 inches. That's not my measurement, that's theirs. So I guess six foot one will fit perfectly fine on this. It will take up to 300 pounds. I'm at 235. It feels like there is some width, so if you're bigger, you can fit in this chair perfectly fine. The chair from end to end is 20.5 inches. From the back of the seat to the very front is about 21 inches. From arm to arm, the inside is 20 inches. This inner piece that hugs you from here to here, the inside is 15 and a half inches. From shoulder to shoulder, is almost 20 inches. And from the base to the very top is 32 inches. At its lowest, the chair is a little over one foot tall. At its highest, it's about 16 and a half inches. So from 12 and a half, to 16 and a half. That's not bad. Actually went a little bit higher than I thought it would. Then over here, you can lock or unlock the backrest. So right now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. Now for the backrest. Okay. It's very, very, very loose. So, you know, usually you can't do this in a chair. You have to put your weight back. So I'm just a little bit nervous. Okay, this is as far back as it goes, which is not incredibly far back, but it is comfortable. I don't know that in this chair, I would feel comfortable going any further back. Now I am putting my feet out and I'm not falling over, but again, I'm not too far back. It feels good. So again, this is kind of loose. Maybe you could lock it at an angle. Okay, that's good. You can lock it at whatever angle you leave it at. So that's a good feature. Now, one other feature this chair has that not a lot of chairs have is the footrest. Hmm. And I'm actually surprised it doesn't feel cheap. Like it doesn't feel like doing this. Now, mind you, I wouldn't force it down and I am putting all my weight on it and it feels nice. I don't feel like it goes out far enough, but it still feels nice. And then reclined, I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised. This chair is amazingly comfortable. Now the neck rest, it actually feels nice. It's not a thick pillow as you can see and as you saw earlier, but it actually bends in nicely. It's not incredibly firm that you just feel like it's something sitting there. It feels actually pretty decent. This is made from recyclable polyurethane, so that definitely does help the environment at least. The material feels nice. It's a breathable kind of pleather kind of material. It does feel very nice and it is breathable again. So I don't feel like sitting in this for a long time you're going to be sweating a lot. So that's definitely a plus. On the look side, to me, it's not the most beautiful chair. I don't really like the design too much. The designs on the seat and the back, that's just me. You get 30 days hassle-free returning the chair and you have a one year warranty as well on this. Because this chair is flat, it doesn't have wings. It's easy to sit with your legs crossed. I like to sit with my legs crossed and it feels perfectly fine. Day number six. 
I get home from work and I sit down in this very chair and I've been editing this video for about six days. I have a few hours every day to do that, to record extra stuff I may have missed, B-roll, all that good stuff. And this chair for hours and hours and hours has been amazingly comfortable. This is an extreme budget chair, especially compared to chairs like this and most if not all of the other chairs I've reviewed on this channel. That being said, it is a budget chair, so it's not going to have a lot of the features chairs like this have. This chair has 4D armrests, so I can raise it, drop it, forward, back, rotate it like this. I can do a ton of stuff. This is pretty still. Now this is solid and this is cushiony. It moves back if I slide the back back as you saw me reclining in it. That being said, this does not have a rocking mechanism where you can just rock back and forward. This one does. Now, you'll notice this one is a lot thicker than this one. It's also a lot smaller and not as deep as this one. And this can fit in smaller spaces, which actually for a lot of people is actually a great thing. I didn't think I would like this chair so much and I really, really, really do. The other cool thing about this chair that many of you probably don't care about, I don't 100% care about it myself, is the casters. I can slide back or slide across a lot easier in this chair than any other chair I've reviewed. Also, probably could be the fact that it is a much, much lighter chair. The other thing, that blows my mind that it is a budget chair compared to all the other chairs I've reviewed is the footrest. So I've only reviewed one other chair that had a footrest like this and it definitely was not a budget chair. It was a nice chair, but actually I feel like this one might be a little bit more comfortable. So take away a few features and add a few tiny features and you have this chair. So it's awesome because you can put your feet up, you can watch TV, play a game on a console, play a game with a keyboard and mouse, watch one of my videos, do whatever you like comfortably. And then as I showed you before, not only can you put them up, but you can put it away and then you can sit with your legs crossed. You can't do that with a lot of chairs because, well, this chair you can, so bad example, but a lot of chairs have that little sides raising up to kind of keep you into the chair. It hugs you, but it makes sitting like this incredibly difficult. Some of you love it, some of you don't, but I can tell you right now, out of all the chairs I've sat in, this is one of the most comfortable. And again, the budget just blows my mind. So opening this box up, I didn't think much of it. I thought it was gonna be horrible. As you saw in the beginning of the video, the chair was so light, the chair was so thin. I thought it was instantly going to be a bad review after I sat in it the first time. And every time after I sit in a chair, after I build it, it's instant comfort because I'm standing the whole time. But the comfort stayed for now day six and it's been that comfortable. This is Iggy with This Bites For You showing you the GT player chair. Iggy out. See you guys.